Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Life Unfinished. And again today we have our spouses joining with us. Just as a reminder, I'm Latoya. I'm Samuel. I'm RJ. Clay. <laughs> so today we're doing part two of our Mary series and this we are asking our husbands, we're actually asking each other um, different questions. So questions that the husbands will ask the wives yeah. and then questions that the wives will ask the husband. And so you'll probably find that you can relate to some of these questions, either um, things that maybe you've experienced in your own marriage or things that you've noticed that men or women do in general. So jump into the comments, join the conversation. Definitely. Here we go. Our first thing is why do you guys leave things on the floor on, or not hung up? Yeah. Or so, like just don't put away your stuff. Yeah. So like socks on the floor, literally stepping out of pants the way they were on. <laughs> Yes. Uh, not hanging up your jacket. Like, we need answers because that's probably one of the most annoying things mm -hmm. about marriage. Do you want to answer first? Or do you want me to <laughs> I think it's as simple as convenience at the time. Or laziness. Convenience. <laughs> this is the men's answer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> convenience in the moment. Maybe, okay. you know, I, I need to go do something so my jacket needs to go on the, the chair for the moment. Or I need to change pants quickly because okay. I'm gonna get cold. Life is not always a rush. No, he said because he's gonna get cold. Oh, so it, it's, it's about the temperature. So, you know <laughs> so, what I'm saying? This is the worst but, response. But here's the thing in our house, that, okay, that was the issue. I put the laundry basket in the bathroom. Mm. So now you leave your pants right beside the laundry basket. No. It doesn't make sense. When have you seen that, that since you put it in the washroom? I'm certain that since you put it in there, there's been a heightened sense of let me put it in the No, because you leave your clothes all over the bathroom. So there'll be something in front of the I'm toilet, the shower, something on the, the counter, again. something it's on the, the towel rack. It's the factor. <laughs> you <What? laughs> right? You're not going to care! You're not going to freeze to death in 10 seconds. You're inside. No. This is not Antarctica. No, it's not your reason, guys. Sam, what's your reason? My reason? Uh, <laughs> Kind of piggybacking off what Clay said. Oh, For me, it, it also depends on the context. If my socks are on the floor and I'm going to bed, it means that in the morning they're gonna be right beside my bed. I don't need to look for them. I already know they're right beside my bed. I just put them on. Same thing with pants if I wear them twice. Okay, first of all, that's not valid. Because you don't need to look for them, but you have a whole drawer full of socks that don't. That doesn't matter. No, it's convenience. That's what he said. He said convenience, <laughs> and also on top of that, um, the jacket thing. I mean, I completely agree. If I <laughs> if I leave my jacket on the chair because it's convenient, I can just pick it up quick. But the closet is actually closer than the chair, and it's, it's, it's right, right in the door, the door when you come inside. All right. You have to walk past the closet to get to the chair. Exactly, so the convenience thing is not valid in this case. Yes, you do. You walk Your past closet the is closer door. than ours! No, 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 no. Because in our house, the door opens and covers the closet, and I'm going straight yeah, in. You have to shut the door. No, 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 the door shuts itself. You know what? This is why he forgets to lock the door. He's heading straight for the, for the chair. <laughs> <laughs> if I to have, hang up his oh, jacket. If I have keyboards in my hand, if I have anything in my hand, it's got to go in, all the way in into the office because you don't want keyboards at the front door. Okay, so even if you went all the way into the office, once mm -hmm. you've done, once you finish that, you come back out, hang up your jacket. No, 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 no. And also keep in mind how, yo, these hangers can be feisty, yo. Okay, I, okay, I, okay, no. no. I we're, not even yeah. we're not even discussing this. I've had fights with hangers before, yo. They can be so tricky, you're just like, yo, what's going okay, on Okay, we're moving on. What's your, too much. what's your one, guys? Alright, so my question to you two ladies is why do you guys keep Eating our food. <laughs> like here's, Why do you keep drinking my juice? Here's the okay. scenario though. Okay, okay. We I, should have been drinking juice. Let's order some McDonald's, okay? Drive through. Okay. Yo, toy want fries? No, I'm good, I'm good. I can't. Why do I say that? No, 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 listen. You're good? You I don't okay. sound like you're that. <laughs> I order fries, okay? Which means that she's good. She does not want fries. <laughs> so whenever that person gives nice. us fries, and then you ask me, yo, can I have a fry? It's like, yo, you just told me you were good, you didn't want no fries, so why are you eating my fries for? Why do you drink my juice? Where do you drink your juice? Every single time I ask for juice, you take the first. 
Whatever your answer is, the reason that you're trying to order. We will order. In food? general, no. if I ask you, oh hey, give me some, you want a kitchen? Can you give me some juice? You yeah. drink it, don't you? Because I have to try it for you first. I'm a nice guy. Okay, to answer the question yeah. about why we, why we taste your food. Thank you. That's the proper terminology. Yes. That's it's important to know. Tasting it. It's not that we want a whole like container of fries. We just want to taste it. Also, sometimes you don't feel like it in the moment, mm -hmm. and then you, you change your mind. And you're like, oh, this is like this is something I want right now. If that happens continuously, in your head you should be thinking, hmm, I don't want it now, but for the past five weeks, every time I order food, <laughs> oh, oh, I no, you pull that on me. You just pulled something I would say to you on me, Samuel. You just finished saying that. Oh, you guys don't think you know what I mean? Okay, okay. But no, but that's very true. The main thing is that we just want to try it. It's not like we want half of your fries. So like a perfect example, King got chocolate covered almonds. I don't want a whole portion of chocolate covered almonds. So I'm not going to buy my own chocolate covered almonds because I just want a couple of yours. Like, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me to get my own portion. If you're going to get a portion, I'll yeah, try two or three of them. Thing. Why am I gonna pay like another five dollars when I just want two so, little? Yeah, two so we're actually saving almonds. you guys money. We're doing you a we're favor. We're sharing. You oh didn't realize you're well, protecting you, the union. You just say that you guys are sharing. Shout out to Benda. That's crazy. Our question to you guys is: Why do you guys speak without first thinking? Like sometimes you guys just blurt out things, or some, especially when you ask questions when it, when it has a really simple answer. And like to us, it's like if you just thought about that for like two minutes, you could have answered that question on your own. So like, why do you guys speak without thinking? There's definitely a, a scientific thing behind that, which I don't know. <laughs> There's not actually no jokes. <laughs> There's some sort of science behind that for men and the the man's brain. Um, I don't know science like that, so I can't oh, answer yeah. that yeah. with science. But I do. I can speak for myself. It just comes out. It's, it's a natural thing. It's a skill that God has given us. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're, skill. we're able to just think of something and it just comes out. And that doesn't mean we never think about what we say. Yeah, about not never, but it's very, it's very, common. Very rarely. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't say common. I'd say here and there we just blur out certain things. But hey, yes. Again, it's more scientific. So okay. You're falling back on the science. It's more, huh? it's more scientific. <laughs> What about you? You have anything to say about that? You know what? Personally, I think that I'm trying to keep the spouse involved in the process. It's very easy me to it's very easy for me to think about everything and come up with all of the solutions yeah, myself. Okay. But I'm trying to learn to in the moment ask the questions, whatever it is that's in my head and on my heart. That way I'm pushing myself to keep the wife involved. I, I saw so you. I saw so you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. I so true. This is crap. This is what, what do you want to eat? That's the, you know what I mean? I can, I, if well, I just go with what no, I want to eat, fail. You then fail the you're not going to get the fries. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See okay. what's going on here? Okay. This is, I'm not going to ask it. You know what I mean? No. It's breach. Okay. That's my opinion. Sometimes I'm trying to keep you involved in the process. Or I'm in the moment of the conversation. There's it's just firing. It's let me hear what your thoughts are right here. Come right here. It's so true, okay. yeah. Especially when it comes from the heart. You're like, oh no, I have to let it out. You can't think about it. Like, Yo, my heart my heart is pumping. I have to let it out. So you can't think See, about these it. answers in itself prove they don't think before they speak. What do you mean? It's just, it just flows flat. out of them, like Sam said. It just, just comes out. Flows out. Running okay. So our next question is, why do our spouses want all of the answers without <laughs> giving adequate time to gather all of the answers? Oh my goodness. I'm going to go to this first. I, I don't think that's, a, that's, that's, not, that's not true. Here's why. Because, first of all, it's common sense to get all the facts, but sure. Maybe, maybe that you know the time or the scenario didn't allow. But then you take so long to get the information. It's not like we don't give you adequate time. We give you a bunch of time. But you want to be able to take your time. So like you could take weeks to get information that you could get in like one day. You want the freedom to be able to take how long you want. But it's not that we don't give you adequate time. We look at the situation and say, okay, 
you need to call up, for example, you need to call up Samuel and ask him when he's working next, for example. That's something you could do in five minutes. So you say, okay, today's Monday, let me know by Wednesday. That's an adequate amount of time. Wednesday comes and you're like, I haven't called him. Meanwhile, you saw Tam Samuel twice on Tuesday, but you forgot to ask him. You preach it, Ruth. So I think we give you guys adequate amount of time. You just want, you want the freedom to do things on your own schedule. Yeah, and when you failed multiple times at like getting back, when you said you'd get back, it's pretty valid that we have we have standards. So like one of the number one things that we always say that drives us crazy is like we're gonna ask you something, you're gonna say I'm gonna think about it, and you don't think about it. Yeah. Or I'm gonna get back to you, and you don't you don't get back. <laughs> no, I know there are ladies out there. I understand. <laughs> I know there are ladies out there that can relate to this. Their husbands say, Oh, I'm gonna think about oh, something, my gosh, and then they yes. don't get back to them. Yes. And yes. then you ask them again, and they think about it in that moment. Yes. So they didn't need all the so time. So you wasted their time. Yeah. Well, I really think I think it's a reason just not to answer in the moment. I think honestly. so. Yeah. I think they're. You know what? We were interrupting a thought process that they were having while we were when we asked her question. They had two thoughts at a yeah, time. so then they just said, I'll think about it, I'll get back to you. And then they went back to their original thought. That's what happens. That's, I'm convinced. This is so sad. <laughs> that, that's what you guys think of us, man. But that's what you do. Well, listen, when we think about it, we do think about it. Sometimes we forget, and then when you ask us again, we're like, oh. And your brain actually works differently. I thought about this thought already. It's just yeah, way right. back there yeah, with all the other thoughts I have to think about. And your brain, oh your gosh. brain works differently when when you're under pressure. <laughs> so when you ask the second time, it's like, whoa, brain, whoa, gather information. She's asking me this question again. I have to think about it quicker. But when you ask the question the first time, we're just like, the brain is like, yo, bro, chill, man. Just if I'm trying to make this into a science, like, is this? It's a scientific thing. 